Hey, have you heard about any successful animal conservation initiatives recently? Yes, I've actually come across some inspiring stories of species recovery and habitat restoration. One example is the conservation efforts for the giant pandas in China. Oh, I love pandas. What's been happening with them? Well, giant pandas were once critically endangered due to habitat loss and poaching. But through dedicated conservation programs, their population has been steadily increasing. Protected areas and bamboo forests have been established to ensure their natural habitat is preserved. That's amazing. How about other animals? Are there any similar success stories? Absolutely. Take the case of the black-footed ferret in North America. They were on the brink of extinction, but conservationists implemented captive breeding programs and reintroduced them to their native prairie habitats. It's been a remarkable success, and their numbers have significantly recovered. That's fantastic news. It's incredible what conservation efforts can achieve. Are there any community-led initiatives that have made a difference? Definitely. One inspiring example is the community-led conservation efforts for sea turtles in Costa Rica. Local communities have taken initiatives to protect turtle nesting beaches, educate visitors about the importance of conservation, and even create sustainable ecotourism opportunities. It's been a collaborative effort, and sea turtle populations have shown signs of recovery. That's really heartwarming to hear. It shows that everyone can contribute to conservation in their own way. Are there any success stories related to marine life? Absolutely. One notable example is the recovery of the humpback whale populations. After facing severe threats from whaling, international agreements were put in place to protect these majestic creatures. As a result, their populations have rebounded, and they've been removed from the endangered species list. That's incredible progress. It gives me hope for the future. Are there any ongoing projects that we can support? Definitely. One ongoing project is the conservation of African elephants. Due to poaching and habitat loss, they are still facing challenges. However, various organizations are working tirelessly to protect them, support anti-poaching measures, and promote responsible tourism that benefits local communities and wildlife. That's a cause I'd love to support. How can we get involved? There are many ways to contribute. You can donate to reputable organizations, volunteer at local conservation projects, or even spread awareness through social media and educational campaigns. Every little effort counts. Thank you for sharing these inspiring stories and ideas. I'm definitely motivated to make a difference for animal conservation now. You're welcome. Together, we can all play a part in protecting and restoring animal populations and their habitats. Let's take action and create more success stories for the future. Hi there. Have you ever experienced the special bond between humans and animals? Oh, definitely. Animals have this incredible way of connecting with us on an emotional level. They can provide so much comfort and support. I completely agree. It's amazing how animals can have a therapeutic effect on us. I've heard about animal-assisted interventions. Do you know anything about them? Absolutely. 
Animal-assisted interventions involve using trained animals to assist in therapeutic settings. They can help people with physical, emotional, or cognitive challenges. For example, therapy dogs are often used to provide comfort to individuals in hospitals or nursing homes. That sounds incredible. How exactly do animals help in these interventions? Well, animals have a calming effect on people. Their presence alone can reduce stress and anxiety. They offer unconditional love and support, creating a safe and non-judgmental environment. Interacting with animals can also improve social skills, boost mood, and promote physical activity. That's remarkable. I can see how animals can make a real difference in people's lives. But what about the everyday benefits of having a pet? Having a pet can be a wonderful experience. They provide companionship and their presence can help reduce loneliness and feelings of isolation. Pets, such as dogs, encourage physical activity through walks and playtime, which is beneficial for our health. That's true. Pets can certainly keep us active. I've also heard that pet ownership has other health benefits. Is that correct? Absolutely. Studies have shown that owning a pet can lower blood pressure, reduce the risk of heart disease, and even improve mental health. The responsibility of caring for a pet can give us a sense of purpose and routine, which can be beneficial for our overall well-being. It's incredible how something as simple as having a pet can have such positive effects on our health. Do you have any personal experiences with pets? Yes, I have a dog named Max. He's been with me for years, and he's like a member of our family. Whenever I come home after a long day, his enthusiastic welcome instantly lifts my spirits. He's always there to listen and provide unconditional love. That's beautiful. Pets truly have a special place in our lives. Even though I don't have a pet, I often find comfort in interacting with animals at a local shelter. It's a therapeutic experience. That's wonderful to hear. Animals at shelters can greatly benefit from human interaction too. It's a win-win situation for both humans and animals. Definitely. I'm grateful for the special bond we can share with animals. They bring so much joy and happiness into our lives. Absolutely. The bond between humans and animals is truly special and unique. It's a reminder of the love and connection that can exist beyond our own species. Have you ever noticed how animals can blend into their surroundings so well? Yes, it's fascinating how they use camouflage to hide from predators or to catch their prey. Different animals have unique ways of blending in. How do they do it? Are there different types of camouflage? Absolutely! One common type is coloration camouflage. Some animals have the same color as their surroundings, like a green mantis blending with leaves, or a brown moth blending with tree bark. That's amazing! So, they use their colors to blend in. What are some other types of camouflage? Another type is pattern camouflage. Animals have patterns on their bodies that mimic the patterns in their environment. For example, a tiger's stripes help it blend into tall grasses. That's clever. So, Animals use both colors and patterns to hide. 
Are there any other strategies? Yes, mimicry is another fascinating strategy. Some animals mimic the appearance of other animals or objects to deceive predators or prey. For instance, a harmless snake might mimic the colors and patterns of a venomous snake to ward off predators. That's both impressive and smart. Are there any more types of camouflage? Definitely. There's disruptive camouflage, where animals have patterns or markings that break up their body outline. This makes it harder for predators to spot them. For example, a zebra's stripes make it difficult for a predator to single out an individual from the herd. Wow, I never thought about that. Disruptive camouflage sounds really effective. Are there any other examples? Yes, there's also texture camouflage. Some animals have textures or body structures that resemble their surroundings. For instance, a leaf insect has a body shape and coloration that make it look just like a leaf. Nature is truly amazing. These different camouflage strategies help animals survive in their habitats. Can you think of any other examples? Sure. Some animals use behavioral camouflage, where they adopt specific behaviors to blend in. For instance, a stick insect sways back and forth to mimic the movement of a branch, making it harder for predators to spot them. That's so interesting. It's incredible how animals have evolved these incredible adaptations. Do humans use camouflage too? Absolutely. Humans have used camouflage for a long time, especially in military settings. Camouflage patterns and colors are designed to help soldiers blend into different environments, like forests or deserts. That's true. I've seen military uniforms with camouflage patterns. It's interesting how we've learned from nature to protect ourselves. Yes, it's a testament to the ingenuity of nature. The incredible ways in which animals use camouflage continue to inspire us and teach us about adaptation and survival. Hey, have you ever heard any interesting animal myths and legends from different cultures? Oh, yes. Animals often play significant roles in folklore and mythology. They have symbolic meanings and are central characters in ancient tales. What animal myths have you come across? Well, I recently read about the Anansi stories from West Africa. Anansi the spider is a trickster character who outweets other animals through cleverness and cunning. It's fascinating how a spider became such an important figure in their mythology. Absolutely. Animals often embody certain qualities or represent cultural beliefs in myths and legends. In Native American folklore, the coyote is often depicted as a mischievous and cunning trickster as well. That's interesting. Animals seem to have different roles in various mythologies. Do you know any other examples? Definitely. In ancient Egyptian mythology, the cat was highly revered and associated with the goddess Batet. Cats were believed to bring good luck and protect against evil spirits. They were even mummified alongside their owners as a sign of respect. Wow, that's incredible. Cats certainly have a special place in Egyptian mythology. What about other cultures? In Norse mythology, the mighty Thor had a pair of goats, Tangrisnir and Tangjostr, who pulled his chariot. 
They were believed to have magical properties and could be sacrificed for a feast only to be brought back to life the next day. That's fascinating. Animals in mythology often have these extraordinary powers and abilities. It's amazing how they are woven into these ancient tales. Absolutely. Animals often serve as symbols and represent various qualities. For instance, the lion is a powerful and regal creature that often symbolizes strength and courage in many cultures. Yes, the lion is often depicted as the king of the jungle in stories and fables. It's interesting how certain animals acquire these symbolic meanings. That's true. Animals can represent different aspects of human nature or embody cultural values. For example, in Chinese mythology, the dragon is a revered creature associated with power, wisdom, and good fortune. The dragon is a fascinating creature indeed. It's incredible how animals have influenced the mythology and beliefs of different cultures. Absolutely! These ancient tales and legends provide us with insights into the beliefs and values of our ancestors. They also help us understand the close connection between humans and animals throughout history. It's truly fascinating. I think exploring animal myths and legends from different cultures is a great way to learn about our shared human experiences and the universal symbolism of animals. I couldn't agree more. It's a wonderful way to appreciate the rich cultural heritage and the important roles that animals have played in shaping our stories and beliefs. Oh, <laughs>